today, everybody, I want to talk a little bit about the importance of today's election. It's very important. It's very important. And a lot of people might not really want to hear what I got to say, but I have to speak my truth. Uh, my name is Eric Martin, E.W. Martin. I'm the author of True Friendship Within the Youth of America. It's a self-help book for the youth between the ages of 9 and 17. It teaches them different concepts and character traits of individuals that they should and shouldn't consider as a friend. So by the time they reach adulthood, they're going to understand who's going to help them become successful or hinder them in life. Right now, I'm really not trying to talk about my book as much, but just to let you know that I have accomplished something. You know, this is something that I can show. There's a lot of other things that I could actually show, too. Uh, as far as my real estate, I maybe own about 20 different properties, whether it's um, commercial property, industrial property, residential property, homes, vacant land, and you name it. Um, I got different places where I could actually start my car lot. Right now, I'm actually working on getting a gas station and a tire shop. It's all in one. Um, and, and what I would really like to say is growing up in Richmond, California, the Bay Area, uh, an area in which uh, I was subjected to a lot of things um, with regards to growing up in an environment where you have family and loved ones, uh, you know, in different situations, you know what I mean, in, in, in another ghetto of America. You know, of course, my friends and family may be um, watching right now, but it's a lot of millions of people across America that, that really don't know me and just watching this video. Um, so I ain't going to get into the details of, of, you know, my background or whatever, but just to let you know, I grew up in an urban America, just like any other ghetto uh, in America. My main reason for speaking right now today is to let individuals know about this election. It's very important for individuals to go out and vote. Um, and, and I have to say, it, uh, I've, I've been incarcerated before. Um, I went to prison um, some time ago. Um, for assault with a deadly weapon where I was I was actually a victim uh, in my own home. Somebody tried to rob me. I had to defend myself uh, against a, 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 actually a family member. I turned myself in and due to the circumstances of the law, me never being incarcerated before, never going to jail or anything, I felt that I did the right thing by turning myself in and you know that the law was going to take things into their hand and, and help an individual out. Well, during that time, um, Camilla Harris was the DA in San Francisco and an individual like myself who only was a tutor for the San Francisco Unified School District at the time had no uh, criminal cases or anything. Uh, I got sentenced for seven years for basically defending myself in my home from a known gunman and that's just the truth of the matter. So, um, and I turned myself in, took the police back to the house, showed them everything that actually happened because I know I was in the right completely. Um, I'm not a bad person. Uh, I would also like to say this, too. During my time while I was incarcerated, I did a lot of studying. And one of the individuals who I was reading and studying their books was Donald Trump. I really got to say it. He had, he had Donald Trump University when I got out of uh, prison from studying his different courses and stuff that he had, the books that I was reading, him and Robert Kiyosaki, different business owners, or should I say, um, that was motivating me to become an entrepreneur, which what I've got going on right now today, uh, me starting my business, me owning these different real estates, me even being uh, encouraged and, and you know inspired to be able to write a book and go out in the public and share information because I know that I need to give back to the community and things like that. The, if, if individuals that know me know me, thank Donald Trump for what you see the change in me today. He has a part to play in that. He an individual that motivated me, inspired me to be who you all see today. For those people that don't know me, um, this individual did. Now, of course, he got a mouthpiece on him, and I got a mouthpiece on me, too. So when I hear him talking out the side of his neck, I just look at him as if I'm looking at another brother in the hood talking shit. You know what I mean? But other than that, when it comes to business, the stuff that this brother is doing for our country, I agree with it. You know what I mean? I understand that America is United States, Inc. A lot of people don't want to understand that or accept that. But if you understand that America is a business and that every individual in America needs to have a business and do business, then you will understand that this dude is actually doing good things for our country currently. Um, 
I can't say the same for Joe Biden currently. Will Trump say some fucked up shit? Yeah. Will he say he ain't said that? Nah, he gonna keep it real. You know what I mean? Now, will Joe Biden say he ain't said some shit that we all know he done said? Yeah, at least Trump gonna keep it real and say the shit that he feel and just said. Whether they take a soundbite and make the fake news out of it and blow the news that we really don't even need to pay attention to up and put it in mainstream media so we can have to make a decision based on stuff that don't, that's not even really important. They ain't talking about the business that's going on for America and how uh, the economy, even throughout our crisis that we even actually having, how we still strong and striving. Just think about all the individuals that before this crisis actually came into effect, how many individuals that you know didn't have a job while Obama was in office that actually got a job and was working while Trump was in office. And the money that's being made, once again, I own over 20 properties. I'm free and clear. I wasn't, I wasn't free and clear. You hear me? When Obama was in office. And I ain't got no... Oh, when Obama got in office, he let me know that I could go start my business. I just got out of prison. And I was grateful to seeing all of that. You know what I mean? It motivated me as a black man to get up and start doing the things that I'm actually doing. That was the start of my change. However, when Trump got in office, I started capitalizing. Meaning I started getting... Real checks, like I done sold seven, eight, nine, ten houses. You feel what I'm saying? I'm getting real checks and shit now. So for me, you know what I mean? I just gotta share that with 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 the people. You know what I mean? I just gotta keep it real, not only with myself, but with the people. If Donald Trump uh, is not our next president to continue his uh, turn, I'm really gonna be upset. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. You know what I mean? I'm keeping it real. You know what I mean? Of course. I'm going to continue to do whatever I got to do with regards to whoever the president. But I'm really feeling Donald Trump on what, what what's going on right now. And if Mike Bloomberg bounced back up in the game, he needs to come on and, and, and take in after Trump. He just needs to have a little bit more aggressiveness about him. But I understand a lot of people don't want to see our president as aggressive uh, tone-wise as Donald Trump. And I get that. You know what I mean? A lot of people feel that um, our president shouldn't be on the stage and, you know, leading our country, acting the way that he do. And I understand the dude is just, that's his character, that's who he is. Um, you know, I accept him for who he is. Uh, and that's just what that is, man. I, I really appreciate Donald Trump being our president currently because what I have experienced throughout this presidency and what I understand at this point in time in my life as an American citizen, um, with regards to what's going on here in America. Remember, anybody right now you're interested in supporting what I got going on, go get a book, True Friendship Within the Youth of America. It's a self-help book for the youth between the ages of 9 and 17. It teaches them different concepts and character traits of individuals that you should and shouldn't consider as a friend. So by the time you reach adulthood, you're going to know who's going to help you become successful or hinder you in life. Once again, you could also make a donation by going to uh, the Cash App at uh, the dollar sign TFWTYOA, the number 2O. And yeah, please do that. Go to the GoFundMe, find true friendship within the youth of America. Once again, it's your boy E.W. Martin. Um, if you're interested in um, getting getting some real estate or, 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 or building or starting a business, of course, I got the car lots and things like that. Um, I'm, I'm willing to help. We do the free cell phones. At this current time, they, they known as the Obama phones. I call them the Trump phones. Um, and who knows, maybe tomorrow they may even beat old Biden phones or so. Uh, we'll see how it go, man.